So I saw this photo of a pretty neat little wooden box on a really cool video about wooden items you can make and sell. So if you haven't seen that video then definitely check it out. But anyway, it had this cool ass little heart box on it and I thought since I just finished the workshop and Mother's Day was coming up, why not give it a go? This is the photo I based my plan off, but I wanted to attach the lid so it wouldn't get lost. And the photos didn't show how to do that. So stick around to find out how I make a really cool sliding lid without any hinges and just a tiny old drill bit. So I found a nice piece with a good thickness, as this would play a big part in the making as I'd need a piece of timber with a bit of depth since I'm making a container. To outline a perfect heart, I used a stack of sticky notes. After connecting my dust collector slash vacuum cleaner, I cut the piece to a smaller size so it'd be easier to work with. I don't know if you can see this in the video, but the wood started smoking while I was cutting, and I didn't even notice until the smell hit me, but when I looked up, it was pretty bad. But I finished the main piece and went on to prepare the cut for the lid. To make a clean cut with the lid, I measured 10mm down from the top and drew a line the whole way around, but since I'm cutting with a scroll saw, it ended up being pretty jagged anyway. To cut out the inner container, I used a circular drill bit and cut two spaces and chiselled out the interior. Sadly my piece cracked down the middle and broke in half while I was chiselling it out. But after I finished sanding the piece, I applied a little bit of PVA wood glue to fix it up and you can't even tell it was broken in the first place. Now it's time to connect the bits together. But just before we do that, I used some wood putty to fill in the two holes. Now I had to figure out how I was actually going to attach the two bits. So I wanted the lid to kind of swing around like this without actually being fully separated from the main piece. So I thought a little pin would do the trick. So I looked around to see what I could find and I found this little snap drill bit that was basically useless. The bit was too long so I went over to the scroll saw to cut it, but the scroll saw barely even left a mark, so I ended up spending about 10 minutes slowly cutting through it with a hacksaw blade. I then drilled a small hole in both the lid and the container so the bit would barely squeeze in. I then gave both pieces another good hand sanding since the piece was quite fragile. The outside was looking nice, but the inside looked pretty jagged and uneven, and I had this idea of filling the bottom with hot glue as a nice smooth base, but I didn't know if the glue would spread out in time and be nice and flat before it dried, so I had to test it out first on an old lid. I discovered that shaking it violently helped settle the glue. I laid down some sawdust as I thought it might look pretty cool through the hot glue, and then I started pouring. The next day, everything was dry and looking sweet for Mother's Day. If you like this video, then you'll probably like this one. Or this one. And make sure to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching, see you next time.